Welcome to the Alpha Training and Consulting's online training program. Today we're going to answer the question, what is measurement drift? Remember, we help students uh, prepare for ASQ certification exams, so we have some great classes. We've been building them for over 20 years and improving them for over 20 years. We have some excellent classes, and we'd love to have you as one of our students. All right, now back to the question, what is measurement drift? Okay, uh, you can also call it an instrument stability, by the way. But drift or stability, variation that measurement bias experiences over time, often referred to as drift. There you go. So here is the instrument at time element one. Hey, this was five months ago, and you can see the drift in the average here. It changes over time. That is drift. How quickly it changes over time represents how stable the instrument is. So some instruments you only have to calibrate every year or so, and some instruments you have to calibrate after every use. So if something could hold over a year, that would be considered a stable instrument and one that had to be calibrated after every time you use it, that would be considered not as stable of an instrument. So hopefully that helps. Let's go to the whiteboard. I have a little graph there I've drawn up, and let's go over this in a little more detail. All right, here we are at the whiteboard. Notice that red line right down the middle is the true value or accepted reference value that we mentioned. And uh, here we have a little bias. This is right after calibration. So it's really uh, quite good here. It's uh, bouncing back and forth from the true value. By the way, what I'm plotting here is the measured value, what I measured. But it's pretty close to the true value right after calibration. And these black lines out here, those are, that's the upper and lower spec limit. So as long as the, true, the actual measured value is within these spec limits, you're okay. You're falling within spec limits, so it's considered a calibrated instrument, an acceptable instrument. But as you can see, over time, what happens? Oh no, starting to drift further and further away from the true value. In other words, the bias is increasing over time. And then uh, eventually it keeps going up, going up. Oh no, it crosses over the spec limit. Now it is not an acceptable instrument over here. Okay, so that's what drift is, uh, how the change in bias over time. Most instruments experience drift. Now, if let's say this was one year out, uh, one year you decided, okay, I'm going to let this go from this period of time to this period of time because look, we look pretty safe of not violating the spec limit. And, uh, but then after this, I'm going to recall this instrument and we're going to recalibrate it again. And we're going to do that every whatever this time period is, one year, for example. And that is called the calibration interval. That's why we need calibration intervals, is because of drift. All right, thank you for joining me. This is a short lecture. Hopefully it was helpful, and uh, you'll be able to use that in your career. If you have any questions, you can feel free to contact me. As you see, I have many websites. I have one website for every uh, certification prep class that I have. So you may want to put this video on pause, find the website of interest, and go check that out. That's also where you can purchase the class as well. Well, once again, thank you for joining me. If you have any, again, if you have any needs for training, please keep us in mind. We'd greatly appreciate it. Thank you, and have a great day. Goodbye.